Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the Aftershock Corner Season 3. I believe it's Episode 10, but I, I could be one. Yeah, it's in the title. It's literally in the title every single time or every video that we have. <laughs> yeah, so if you, I, I have to say it for the people that don't know how to read, so... Some, well, some, they couldn't read. How, 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 is a man. Man. how can they get on the internet? Yeah, how can they type People it? have their ways. There's, pe there's like two-year-olds that have iPads and know how to use them, so... People have their watch ways. watch our content then, because it's not family friendly. No. No, no, no. Um, I am Owen the Bourbon Finch, and this is... I'm John. Hi. You're, not gonna, you're just John today? I'm Team Todd. Okay. Right. And this John, is... Man. Chris Todd. And there's nobody else here, not one person, so I guess we can... Oh! The smart Slayer Steiner He's about to slay a smart if he doesn't shut up. <laughs> I know a smoke it's though. Stephen the, it's Stephen Cockley. <laughs> hey. That's quickly to you, you jerk. <laughs> and we had to talk about the greatness of WWE. How you know we had to, we had to talk about how great it was this week. It's better than NGPW. Fact. It was not great this week. This John's was not, stripping up this was, for some strange reason. He's uh, promoting his T-shirt. Three quarters of Kevin Owens show. Except, so for in, except for it's in reverse. So no, we can really see it. No, you can. It's a mirrored. I think they can see it pretty well. Machine. My right hand's right here. This is my left hand. Uh, you can't, but you can't see when you, when you put it up. But yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. let's just we'll talk about the show. But let's just say this: both shows were not great this week. No. No. Happy Halloween. That's all it was. Yeah. Right. Happy so Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, so let's just uh, let's just get through one episode. And I just want to make an announcement: there was not going to be a show next week because we don't have school next week. So, yeah. Unless we're not coming here when it's not a school day, so. Don't ask us to come. Huh? Do not ask us to come. Yeah. We're not gonna come on. Oh. We're not gonna come on command. <laughs> oh. It's fucking Friday, guys. Be excited. We're fucking Friday. We're fucking Friday. Who? We're fucking Friday. Who? Yeah, it's fucking Friday. The horse. We're fucking Friday, guys. So we're fucking Friday the horse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Easy alley. You guys have fun with it. You guys have fun with horse fucking. Go ahead. Yeah. BCL Anyhow, hey, he's the one that made the suggestion. Hey, Disney endorses bestiality. I eat. Do so you know what else? Is, the horse endorses playing video games when there's a fucking show going on. Me, that's who endorses it. Well, uh, no one can see him, so no one even knew what he was doing. Actually, I, I bet people forgot he, he was here. They just think it's somebody else talking. They think it's like a cameo talking <laughs> in the background. Yeah, I'm just talking to no one over here. He's just playing fucking video games. <laughs> hey, now at least I'm playing a good game. It's Mario. <laughs> I like Call of Duty or some shit like that. You know? We can't play Call of Duty in a Game Boy, Steven. Well, you can play GTA in a Game Boy, believe it or not. Anyhow, let's uh, let's talk about Raw. No, this is GTA. Give me not. What? We'll talk we about have Raw. To. We won't talk Deal. about SmackDown. Deal. Deal. Me. Oh, we'll, oh, we'll, we'll give like our two cents. Yeah, we'll, we'll okay, briefly go. Okay, so over. Raw opens up with. Gold we had the pre. Bird. No pre-show. No pre-show. No pre-show. No pre-shows pre are a myth. Are you sure it's alright, Myth? Because they're boring as fuck. They don't belong on our show. I, I have to say so, what the commentators are. Now, before we get to Goldberg, I just want to skip ahead a little bit to the commentators. Michael Cole forgot what holiday it was because he did not dress up, and then he tried to act like he was dressing up like Vince McMahon, which is complete bullshit because he didn't even do the hair. Nope. Anyone who We saw anyone. someone dress up as Vince McMahon and hell on a cell, too, but... Well, I did. I don't, did you, John? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Byron Saxton dressed up as... A, a duck. A duck. No, it's a, 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 a baby in like a one soup duck. I don't know. Yeah, onesie, yeah. And Corey Graves easily had the best Halloween costume of the night. He stole it. Imitating his. David Pumpkins from SNL. Tom Hanks played him. If you haven't seen that, I suggest watching it. There was one, one thing I mentioned about the free show. Is, cause I was just going to say who the panel was dressed up as. No. Scott, oh, yeah. Scott Stanford dressed up as Lita. He just had a wig on. Jerry the Kid Lawler dressed up as a gladiator. And Booker T dressed up as Donald Trump. Wait, what? Yeah. Well, yeah, he was... And how, how you saw this? The, I watched the pre-show back, yeah. Oh. How, how did he look? Well, he, he wasn't really dressed as Trump, but like he... Did he have the hair? He had like a picture of Trump's face. Oh, oh come on. I want to see, see Booker with the hair. Oh, that'd be <laughs> great. Kelly was dressed up as a really sexy Jedi. And, uh... I uh, will have to go see that later. But yeah, yes, um, lucky D, lucky D, motherfucker. Anyhow, we won't talk about anything else but the pre-show unless you guys want to. No, nope. Okay. That's the only thing we're talking. So yeah, about. Goldberg comes out, and Goldberg. Uh, 
Before he could say anything, Paul Heyman interrupts him. Um, and Paul Heyman um, says that he has the utmost respect for Goldberg, and he asked if he can come in the ring with him. Um, don't don't make that joke. joke, don't make that joke. Don't you dare make that joke. What, I, what joke? Because I, I said come in the ring with him, so... I uh, yeah. yeah, don't You're make that joke. Up. But anyhow... Um, Damon Owen. And he says, do you didn't think I was going to come in here without backup? I know, what was, it, what was he not going to do? Is he not going to... What is he? Nothing. Let's just uh, move on. Is he not going to come in the ring? Come in the back. Hey, Owen. <laughs> squirt, squirt. <laughs> Anyhow. that white goo in the so, ring? So, he, he says he that... He didn't spill the Halloween candy all over the map, did he? It's just that cinnamon frosting stuff that goes with cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Where has this show gone to? I think the one is going to come in the ring. But anyhow, no and more joke, please. Yeah, no more. You've already made three of them already. So he, he asked Paul Heyman asked if he more. can go in the win with more Goldberg. Jokes. Oh. Less seriousness. And um, to quote Mr. Krabs, more. <laughs> what? To quote Mr. Krabs on our cum jokes, more. So then, um, Paul Heyman says he didn't think I was gonna. Get here without any backup. Yeah, get here without any backup. So, that's going to be a rule. We can't say come for the rest of the show. Ah, well, you just did. Ah, I was saying what we can't, ah, the word we couldn't say. Someone just go ahead. That so, word. he said we can't, he didn't think he was going to fly here to this state without any backup. I'm going to cheat the system. He came in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> he come did. <laughs> so, then, uh. He acts like, he says that Brock Lesnar is here. Was he lost at sea? Was he lost at sea? Brock Lesnar? Was Brock Lesnar lost in the sea? What? I think he's lost at sea. Lost at sea. Lost at sea. Lost at sea. Man. Oh, I gotta get it there. I, why? Why? He's a seaman. Why? <laughs> he's a seaman. Oh, not yet. I thought it was a beast. Yeah, he's, he's a, a seaman. Beast, beast and a seaman. <laughs> He's destroying the scene. <laughs> Go on. But anyhow, so Block, he says that, uh, he acts like Block Lesnar is there, because he says that Block Lesnar is impatient, and uh, he doesn't want to wait until Survivor Series to fight him. Oh, uh, here it comes. Oh, wait. I just said oh, wait. Oh, what a shot. Good no, shot. shot. <laughs> you can't get it in the trash can. But you Not very good skater, but my God. <laughs> so what then, a uh, shot. What a block. shot that was. <laughs> All right, go on. Block <laughs> Lesnar's music <laughs> plays. <laughs> and uh, we think he's there. I knew he wasn't there, but people think he's there. Brock Lesnar's like Santa Claus. But he, ne but he, he never once a year. goes to the ring. You know, we we never see Brock Lesnar. <laughs> and... Um, once a year. So then Paul Heyman's laughing because he realized that he, he fooled everyone. That what? Huh? That what? Brock Lesnar is <laughs> coming. For you. Fix tricks up. Uh, that's what I think of you. They're all like, for stripes. <laughs> that, that, that happened. It's the webcam, not the computer. <laughs> all right, go on. It's only Brock Lesnar. Like, I'll show you it's not oh, yeah. the computer. I, I don't. I, I'm fine. You See, know it's not the computer. I don't know why well, my webcam does that. I haven't done a uh, awful thing. What are you doing? I was showing him that my computer wasn't covered in stripes. Like, like the screen, like he didn't put the screen, because I, I think right, it made John so, scared. Yeah, back to the show. Um, so, Block, so, Block the Lesnar cover, never Monday, goes Monday. to the win. Monday. So Monday then, um, <laughs> Paul Heyman says that he fooled everybody, and he says it would have just ended badly for Goldberg, because he would have beaten up uh, him up right in front of his wife and his kid, just like he's gonna add Survivor friend. Series. So then, uh, Block, I think they obviously were trying to get heat on Block Lesnar since it didn't work last week. So yeah. he mentioned the fact that. Well, they, um, break the freak. So then. Um, a cockered by Barack. Bork. Laser. Cockered by Coxner. Block Coxner. Cock Coxner. So, wait, wait, wait. So he's going up against. Block Brazer. Lock Bresner. Lock Bresner. Lock Laser versus Spring Boob Flower. Bresner. In the main event of WrestleMania 33. Book it, WWE. Book it. 
Wasp Bresner. Spring boom. boom. Flower pants. But anyhow, you can hey, tell how bad he's going on with this. Like We're ten minutes in, we have only gotten past the first second. This is very huge. We haven't gotten to the Rusev part yet. What's I know. Rusev, what do But anyhow, so, uh, Paul Heyman mentions that he's conquered. Let's get conquered the Undertaker's undefeated streak. He's gonna conquer Goldberg's streak against him. The money for him. So then Rusev comes out. Um, and, uh, Rusev talks about how he's gonna crush. Goldberg, how he's an old wash up. He actually mentioned that Goldberg only has the two moves to do, which is funny. Yep, Goldberg fell down. And then uh, Goldberg, Rusev, you got a fucking hits a right Rusev hand on Goldberg, but Goldberg, Goldberg no sells it. And Goldberg hits the he fell down. two knees he to the ribs. He uh, kneed him in the gut yeah. and he that, and that was That was Rusev's invisible arm with the double leg takedown. And he had him. He had his. And Rusev totally him out. <laughs> That's great to do with your new guy coming back. <laughs> and then had, Rusev, and Rusev was so powerful on that knee strike that Goldberg just took a... Goldberg is like... Already, Rusev chest is so hard that it actually broke Goldberg's knee. <laughs> Goldberg fell down. Rusev. Because he's a big Bulgarian brute, right? Yeah, exactly, he's a big Bulgarian brute. Even, Rus- with his, even with his invisible arms he made Goldberg. He gave Goldberg a, a single leg tackle. Well, I think that's just my arms are Bulgaria. My arms are just have third arm. Really, Rusev, my arms are so fast that they make the speed of light wish it was faster. <laughs> but anyhow, Goldberg uh, hits the jackhammer on uh, Rusev. Rusev. And then afterwards, lucky man, I let him win. Right after, he spears Paul Heyman. Was Paul Heyman? Poor Paul. Took a bad job taken, but it's not his fault because he's not his fault. It's not Russell. Yeah. Paul was Hyman. Good, it was a good spear. I would have taken and, spear Paul, and Paul, Paulie Daniels Paulie had Rocky. to be taken to the hospital. Paulie from Rocky had to be taken to the hospital. Uh, Paulie, Paulie Hayman. I would have at least jumped for spear. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing so, this whole show just about it. Yes, do yes. it! So what do you think of this show? So you want me to call you John or Rusev? My name is Elizabeth Rusev. Uh, so what do you think of that show? Johnson. Johnson. What do you think of that segment? <laughs> what do you think of <laughs> Joseph. So, what's the that segment of Rusev me. getting beat up like that? I let, I let Goldberg pick me up and put me down. <laughs> I actually took him down with my double leg kick down that no one ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> I am Drew U.S. champ, like a wife. Beautiful wife. That I port later that night. And what about the spear by the guy, by Paul Hayman? Did you get guy? any pussy last night, Rusev, and you got destroyed by Goldberg? Or I was with the douche. <laughs> <laughs> Did Lana destroy you later? I crossed Lana. <laughs> you crossed Lana? I crossed the new Lana. You cru- crushed, not crushed. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what were we doing? You did it on like a pizza or something? I crushed you. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what were we talking about? Crush me with cheese? Little tomato? You know what I'm saying? Little secret sauce. Ah, uh, I see what you're getting at. But anyhow, so what do you think of Paul Heyman getting laid out? I think Goldberg coward for spilling gold for spilling one Paul Okay, Ch- Johnson. <laughs> Joseph. What, what did you think, Chris? That was great. That Goldberg spilling the shit out of you was the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack Hammer. <laughs> I like to say that. We said Goldberg we said still got you. it. That's my input. We said crush you, Chris. He's not crushing me yet. You gonna crush him? No, 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 he's gonna crush him. He's gonna crush him. Crush. This is mad. <laughs> but anyhow, overall, the first segment was good. Uh, it was probably the best thing. It's you, Rusev, to wear a Kevin Owens shirt. It was probably Kevin the... Owens' good friend of mine. <laughs> your best friend? Or no. <laughs> I'm not the best friend of Kevin Owens. <laughs> That's pretty Ke- difficult. Ke- two different people, Kevin and Owen. <laughs> Wait, but your best friend with me? They break. <laughs> <laughs> you, you break everyone in this room? I cross everybody. <laughs> okay. I, I, cr- I destroy Lana. I crush you. I break you. I die. I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> Rusev, Rusev, what is your opinion on the ending of Rocky IV where Russia gets beat by the US? I crush it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter because it's from Bulgaria. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what is, what is your fi- difference? What is your opinion on uh, pretending you're in Russia when you're really from Bulgaria? No comment. 
<laughs> All right, let's move. Right, let's, let's move on. We'll ask Rusev for the opinion of the next set. All right, Rusev, you can cover the next thing. Luke Gallows with Carl Anderson versus Enzo Amore with Big Cass in a trick or treat. St- no, in a trick or street fight. Stupid. <laughs> did you like any, Did you like anything about it? No. <laughs> Rusev be out there. Rusev crushed that little pin. Pips with Enzo Amore. <laughs> Big Cass does not know the meaning of crush. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if Big Cass came and beat the shit out of you? What if, really, he, he doesn't, I don't let him beat me. I noticed too, we said you weren't wearing your Halloween costume on Monday. Halloween is a stupid holiday. <laughs> <laughs> so, Russo, well, what if I told you I saw Lana morph into Big Cass, therefore meaning Big Cass is your wife. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, <laughs> you filthy animal. Happy Hanukkah. Any comment? What, what he just said, we said? No comment. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what happened, because you didn't see the street fight, because you were probably laid out after the jackhammer. You were probably not Cock, yeah. 100%. Hey, so I'll tell you what happened. So Enzo Loy and Big Cass. According to YouTube. Enzo Loy and Big Cass come out. Oh, you gotta love ass. this, Rusev. And don't worry, was dressed up so as Buzz Lightyear, and Big Cass was dressed up as Woody from Toy Story. Whoa. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Whoa. Wait, I, I wasn't paying attention. Steve Blake's cock his ass. <laughs> you finally, the suit finally comes out, buddy. Hey, shut up. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Do I look like the Cookie Monster? Let me yes, look, let me look, let me look. Yes. He looks like a guy who can take a cock his ass. <laughs> <laughs> But anyhow, so yeah, I'll tell you Russo's like crashing over there. Okay, let me see if I can, oh, I can't. I'm gonna try moving so that way Steve can get the shot. Can get shot I don't wanna get shot. Oh yeah, there we go, that's better. Do it look like this? Oh Jim? yeah, that's better. I didn't mean that. We all know what you meant, Owen. Rowan. <laughs> we, all we know is that you like clock cameras on the back. Hey! That's not that's back. Weird. You, I thought that was weird. You went to the league. But anyhow, so Rusev, I'll tell you what happened in the opening match. So, uh, Rusev, you'd be a better Rusev, I can kick your ass. <laughs> okay, there But anyhow, so uh, what happened in the f- first match of the night was Enzo and Morley, uh, they, you know, they do the, normally they do the big promo before the match. You, do probably, don't, you probably don't listen because you're not interested in it's that. It's not important. Huh? Not important. Rusev, yeah. start of show. And, uh... So then what happened was... You said uh, the start of the show, they got speared. And ha- the start of the show, they got guys see, hammered. I don't know if you've seen... Have you seen a trick or street fight before, Rusev? Yeah, I fought in the streets of Bulgaria. <laughs> what about a trick... There's the other trick or street fights there. There are no tricks. Just fist. <laughs> fist. <laughs> but, so then I'll tell you what it is. Um, there was pretty much pumpkins around the ring. A kendo stick that was, I think, supposed to be decorated like... Uh, what's it called? Candy corn. The hell is a candy corn? It's a candy of the corn. Don't have to make its mind up and come back to me. They probably have them in Bulgaria somewhere. No. And then they had a skeleton, not a real one, like one of those fake ones. I had skeletons hicked up in my room of my enemies who I crushed. <laughs> uh, I think that's necrophilia. Yeah, it is necrophilia. It's gross. And then we had, uh... It's like, disgusting. We had, like, yeah, the we half... Like, I learned from K. Right, Triple H? I learned from K. And then we had the apples, like you go bobbing. You ever heard of bobbing for apples, Rusev? I threw bob into apples. <laughs> Not that kind of bob. Like you, you. It's like look it up online. It's great. You, you. People like put their hands behind their back and they have like a bunch of apples with water and you. This sounds like a game Nana told me. <laughs> <laughs> it could. Do you and Lana play this game a lot? I don't know about the apples, but I know about the bucket of water and dying. But yeah, anyhow, so the match wasn't trash or anything. It actually wasn't bad for the. With the as well as this trash, Rusev. I agree. Do you dare boo my Papa Rusev? Hey, Rusev. I have a question. Let's go wait. How many uh, matches, how many times did you beat Roman Reigns? I beat him once. One. SummerSlam. You didn't win at SummerSlam. Match. Exactly. It never match. happened. So you can't win a match that never happened. I beat them, I beat them in spirit. 
<laughs> okay. Well, I still was you and Jeff walking out, was that day? Yeah, but well, I don't think you were walking out that night. Well, because Chris, uh, the Red Sox just lost that bench coach. Be care. Don't comment. <laughs> <laughs> and Busev. If uh, Tori Lavello has now gone to be in the Diamondbacks uh, manager. Oh, okay, at least it's the Diamondbacks. You're very at SummerSlam, you didn't want. You didn't. Oh, what happened to you at SummerSlam besides you walking out as champ? What did Roman do to you? Roman decided to be a cheapskate and beat the hell up and beat the hell out of me. Yeah, I thought it worked, sure. Oh yeah. Well, you started it because you 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 attacked Rusev before he got in the ring. I attacked myself. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> I meant this. You attacked Roman. I mean, I botched. You attacked Roman Reigns. He ruined my wedding. Botch him. Um, he ruined your wedding. That, that was awesome. I laughed hysterically at that. Your hot wife being thrown into that cake. Don't do that. Question my wife. I'm sure it's not the first time she's been having white stuff all over her, and it wasn't your Woo! fault. My fault. No, it's not about Rusev. Oh, you put you appointed me. Oh, oh. Like you appointed me. Talk to me later. I tell you a story. Uh, is this another story about the Miz? This is no story about the Miz. Do you like the Miz? No comment. He can't. Him and the Miz have a lot of. Not on my show. I crush him too. Him and the Miz. Like, you seem to struggle with your English. <laughs> him, and the Miz, <laughs> him and the Miz have a long distance relationship. They do. They're, they're, they're lovers. So long distance. We should bring back because they're all different brands. And have him translate. <laughs> Rusev says. Rusev says, honey, I love you. Honey, I Who's that? Kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh what's, what's up with that finisher, by the way, that you do when it looks like you're fucking some people off the ass? What's up with that finisher? <laughs> I learned from the greatest wrestler of all time. Who was that? The Iron Sheik. The greatest Iron Sheik, Iron Iron Sheik never did it that way. You didn't know he got boner off that move. <laughs> True. But anyhow, let me. Someone has to. Stay on topic, so I guess I gotta continue. I'll read it. Let me, let me read it. Yeah, because it's not going. Fucking anywhere. read this shit. Go. Just wall a SmackDown too. Uh, well, I'll do both. Okay. We're 22 minutes in it. Shut the fuck up, Rusev. We're still on the. <laughs> we're still on the trigger street fight. God damn it. What'd you think of that, Rusev? Do you love it? Did you like men? It. Destroy. I crush all four. Who's your thought, Stevan? <sighs> Yeah, that's right, turn that off. Steph, happy oh. Halloween. Get sucked, so we can all agree with that. Well, I didn't think it sucked, because it was they had the, it was a comedy match. At least Enzo and, and Cass cut a good promo before. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the cover was Kevin Owens right now, because it's the Ryan T-shirt. <laughs> the Rusev show. <laughs> <laughs> the Rusev. But yeah, so, do I think it was every week, week, every day. It was very unbelievable that Enzo Moy was day. beating... Luke Gallows, though, I think. Well, I think it's time for a random fact of the day. John Laurinaitis is marrying the Bella's mom. So, yeah. That's just they're, creepy. They're already married. Oh, they are? Yeah. I thought they were getting married. Oh, shit. That show's I behind. It, that is creepy. By a long so, day. They got married in, like, the spring. So you're telling me John Cena's stepfather is... Brie Nikki Bella is... Nikki and Brie and JJ's stepfather is John Laurinaitis. So... Her we, father... T T J P Kajup versus the Brian Kendrick. For the Brian. Brian. No Brian. surprises here. Who's the Kendrick. No surprises. Who's the way championship. So I'll just give you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm guessing. Kendrick ship. Right, how many of us actually want to review this match? Or do you want me to just kind of give you the speed? Yeah, the cliff notes. Okay. I already did a review of. So here's videos. the speed dial version. So they make their entrances, you know, Brian Kendrick does his thing, TJP does his amazing entrance, although I really don't get why he's a game character, but whatever. Match starts, it's good like most of the Cruiserweight matches have been. I'm not making that a general assumption, I'm just saying it was good. Kendrick cheats, you know, he walks out, 10 count, you know, Kendrick retains, by and this is probably, maybe and the best. Maybe this is the best match they had, maybe. TJP, put him in the bar, you know, and that, that, that's about it. Put him in the bar, won't let go, easy enough. The how it came he did going outside the ring where he landed on his head. The knee bar. Rusev was giving dirty looks over there. The so Rusev, what do you think of this uh, Cruiserweight Championship match? I curse both men steal the title. Oh, no, I'm not in the shot. <laughs> You're not getting shot anymore? Let me try like Okay, Jeff. Uh-oh, Rusev's gonna shoot me. So, I thought it was okay. I mean, yeah. it's a raw Cruiserweight Championship match in the end. And Kendrick had just won it the night before. And they're giving away the match that 
Because they're giving away the match that I paid for. Yeah, exactly. For free. <coughs> He's men with plan. You like the man with the plan? He's the man with plan. You like the man with plan? Okay. So you do. Okay. I don't know what side you're on. This other fence you're on, swinging. Uh, Mick Foley backstage and Mick Foley promo. So Mick Foley's backstage. Better watch it on because doesn't hold. Juan Strowman uh, comes up and uh, says uh, that he wants real competition. And he says that he's going to destroy Mick Foley if he doesn't get it. And Mick Foley says, you know what, you're, you're trying to threaten to scare me and it's working. But you can't just get opportunities by threatening people. You have to earn it. So he announces there's going to be a battle royal and he's putting Strowman in it. And the winner gets to be on the team wall. Because he wants to be on the team wall. You know who won? Riggity Brown. Oh, I was, was going to say, we'll, get, we'll talk about it when we get there. We already it's gave the it next away. one. It doesn't matter. The match no, the formal. Just... The formal is the next one. The Foley formal. What was it? Uh, Mick Foley comes out. He talks about the controversy that happened during the WWE Universal Championship Hell in the Cell match. Oh, that, that set up the promo with uh, Jericho and KO. Yeah, Team Coco. And uh, Mick Foley's not happy because Kevin Owens had a chance to go down in, in history, but all he did was che- but he cheated. And uh, but he but says that any that's, bo- that's Survivor Series also too. Team Kevin and Chris are going to lead the team. Yeah, he says he needs them, and they and they really they make like a, a mockery of them and say, "Oh, you you need me? Yeah, they need us." Hey, and, he, and Kevin goes, "Hey, Chris." He says he needs us, and then he goes, "Yes, I do need you, but I can't trust you. This is a man that I can trust." And Roman Reigns comes out. He's the third man. He makes a bunch Not of stupid. Not Hulk Hogan's the third man, but he, <laughs> but he, he is the third man. And he and he makes a bunch of stupid jokes. He does, and then segment ends. And Lord Jericho always wanting that shot as he's a, as as US champion JP gets the match and that's the main event for tonight is oh shit. is uh, Kevin as uh, Kevin uh, Kevin Owens' his best friend Chris Jericho versus, versus Roman. Uh, Seth Rollins' his best friend Roman Reigns. And the whole thing was that Roman Reigns was in a hell in a soul match and wondering if he's going to be able to compete and Jericho was as fresh as a daisy because he yeah. wasn't in a match last week. Even we got the shit beat out of my hell in a cell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> inside think, the fucking cage. Yeah. What did you think of this segment, Steve? Yeah, it was good. It was good. And then, uh, and Chris Jericho had the list. He's like, you know what I'm gonna do, huh? Huh? Yeah. I know what I'm gonna do. No one's you making think, the list. You think I'm gonna put you on the list? Well, no one's going on the list. I thought that was great. That was and great. then I like too. He's adding people to the list too when he gets his U.S. title match. <laughs> it's like, what do you think? So you Rusev or John? John Rusev or Rusev? Oh, quick, John. But good thing we're going to just do a fight segment. <laughs> but, Rus- but Reigns could never win in a clean fight. Never beat me clean. Uh, he beat you clean at uh, Clash of Champions. He put, he thumbed me in the eye. <laughs> he thumbed you in the eye? He thumbed me in the eye. Look at the replay. Look at the replay. How on a cell. He cheats, but he didn't. How on a cell. Rusev, you a, Rusev is a sore loser. We can't talk to him. What about how on a cell? What about how on a cell? Hell in the cell. He won clean as a sheet. That's not clean as a sheet. Or how? John Teddy would, would say that clean as a sheet. Remember him? He yeah. doesn't exist. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember John Teddy? I know, because he's Rusev. I thought it was Jusev. Ah! <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> you should have used that instead. Are you ever Jewish, man? I guess I guess John Teddy no longer exists. That's yeah. a good one, your chef. But anyhow, oh, he's over in the corner. I can see him. He's hiding. He doesn't want to be on on camera. He's afraid. Of, he's afraid of the camera now. Yep. You don't want to be on the show, guys. I don't want to be on the show. Okay. But anyhow, uh, see, you said your week of You said your best friend at Russo over here now. Thanks a lot, John. He ain't no, he ain't no best friend of mine. I owe him favor. What was that favor? <laughs> I gave him right to school. <laughs> so I gave him a favor. favor. Wink, wink. I don't like your accent. Bruce, I've been thinking break your character. Oh. All right, so. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'll continue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the battle royale. We just stop talking to Bruce, or else we'll never get through the show. <laughs> Move on to the next segment. <laughs> Battle Royal winner gets on Team Raw. So we had superstars in there: like Braun Strowman, Sami Zayn, Sheamus, Cesaro, Darren Young, Bo Dallas, Titus O'Neil, R Truth, Goldust, 
Am I missing anyone? Uh, Paul Dallas, yeah. I think I missed Same, him. Same, me too. Oh, Same as last eliminated, basically, and uh, the winner and a part of Team Rail, like I said, Brigitte Braun Strowman. Um, it sounds like he has the Star Wars theme. This theme song. Roar! I thought that Madden Warrior was good. Not great, but good. It's okay. Um, I like the spot where Cesaro and Sheamus got into a little tension when they were <laughs> Ironically, then they were on a tag team. Oh, I don't have it written down, so yeah. The tag, the tag team so, doesn't work together. That's great. It's like Russia that? and Bulgaria. We work together to cross. Oh, I think I remember one. I, I forgot some things in my notes. Rusev, that doesn't work. We work battle as one. What if I, what if I said Bulgaria sucks? Go to there and sort of country. And then he had to Well, while they're talking, I'll just say Battle Royal was good. Uh, Bo Dallas got eliminated early, which surprised me because he's getting a push and he got eliminated like nothing. So that kind Bo of. Bo Dallas can suck it. <laughs> Bo Dallas can suck it because he sucks. Hey. But anyway, so. Uh, the makeover to Slut Lena, which we don't have to go over. I thought. I th- so us, have we gone over it before or no? No, we don't, no one cares. Okay. Uh, Rich Swan. If you know Lins, what I mean. Lindsay Dorado. If you know what I mean, you know you know what I mean. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Rich one. Lindsay Dorado in Cedric Alexander versus Tony Nese, Drew Gulak. Not Gulak, Gulak. That's, Lack. The, way, that's the way my, Lack. my computer all L-A-K, L-A-K. not L-O-K. Lack. And Ari Davari. Um, fine match. It was a good match. The uh, same, like pretty, the much, pretty much the same thing as the kickoff, yeah. except which one was in the match and not Sin Cara. Thank God. Um, Fat Sin Cara doesn't belong in there. Uh, I, anyways, just I, love, about, I love Cedric, uh, Cedric's finisher. The fucking knees to the yeah. back. Oh, But that's not how they won. They won something. with uh, which one, kick to the head, and then they rolled him up. Into, so is that his finisher then? Oh, yeah, that was the, that was the, was that the kickoff show that he won with the fucking devil knees to the back? Yeah. Uh, he probably did. I think he did, but... The rich kick is his finisher. Okay. The rich kick is fucking awesome. Well, and that's the one thing I agree with as in terms of a finisher. A kick to the Rich Swan's kick to the face is amazing. It doesn't even really look like it knocks the guy out though, because he has to like roll him up right afterwards. So he, like, well, it's a, it's kind of supposed to, but yeah. the way it's like the the cont off oh, that that move is so sick. But uh, I also heard too today was it yesterday? It was today or yesterday, one of those days. Where they're gonna have the WWE two hundred five show where they're gonna have a. The cruiserweights are gonna have. The cruiserweights are gonna have their own show, which uh. Two hundred five people on the show. Two hundred five. It's two hundred plus five. <laughs> but uh, I'm happy about Musa doesn't care. Two hundred five pounds. So you can be the cruiserweight division. I eat the two pieces of shit for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast. <laughs> you set yourself up for that one. Don't come. So, but yeah, so I can't wait to see the two, 205 show. Um, I hope it's good. It's going to air. It's going to it's, it's gonna take Talking Smack's time slot. But Talking yeah, Smack is fucking terrible. Talking Smack will still be on, though, right after the Cruiserweight show, which doesn't make any sense. Why not put Smack? Why not just put it on the 11th? Who knows? So, so, don't make, so SmackDown Live make no sense. So we have Raw better. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. No, oh, it's your opinion. Well, so, let me tell you something, Rusev. Attitude Era stars are on war. But it's good media. Yes. Yeah. All in it. Made all this moist. I crushed them all. Okay, I now, uh, continue. We, so we, we, we have a Carlot promo. Who? Carlot. Did I really write that? No. Oh. Okay. That's just good. Charlotte, um... It's, it's hot. I don't crush. I didn't really pay attention, but I kind of pretty much said what I thought was going to say. that She's the team captain. Of the biggest slut in the company. I am the team captain. She, ta- she <laughs> talked about how great she was, and she went in there, won the first walk. <laughs> well, it's like a fucking car alarm. She was. She was. I am the team captain. Woo, woo, woo. But uh, woo. she won. She, she also won the very first ever How Would I Sell Mad, and that's Charlie. I, I, I don't, don't think Rusev. I think robots the right word. I think it sounds is a better word. Yeah. What do you think of Rusev? I am the team captain. No push. I don't crush. I remember you, want, you wanted to do that a couple of oh, shit, weeks ago. Oh shit, he's putting out. Thought that was crush. But anyhow, um. <laughs> Sounds like fucking. Uh, so then Charlotte bars. talks about the team. <laughs> she said there's going to be uh, 
she said she talked about how the weak she has to put Bailey in, and she thinks that Bailey's just the weakest link. So Bailey comes out, congratulate her to on uh, the match. Crush Bailey. That's disgusting. What kind of bitch? What kind of bitch? You're blatantly, Three -way bitch. Bla blatantly cheating on your wife. Three way bitch. Okay. <laughs> what, if, so that, what, if, what if anal doesn't want to do that then? She will. She Trust will. me. She will. <laughs> oh my god. Woo, 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 but anyhow, <laughs> um, so Charlotte just throws it right back at her saying that you're just upset that you weren't in the main event. This was all me. And Bailey says, what happened to you? You used you know, weren't like this on NXT. And then Charlotte says, this isn't NXT anymore. This is the main roster. This is the big dance. Big so then, dance. You know, well, they're going to the dance bigger than uh, <laughs> NXT. Small dance. That This is the big dance. Charlotte used to have a big dance, but then it beat the hell out of her. And got divorced. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. Oh, oh, dance. Oh. Uh, so no, that no, next no. is the, that leads up to, she says, uh, Sorry. She laughs because she thinks Dana Brooke is going to be her opponent. Well, yeah, I guess she's she, a protege, and then she and actually protege. Yeah, it's a new word. And, and then <laughs> um, then she laughs at her and says, "No, this is your this is your opponent." Who's also on Team Raw? On Team Raw, uh, Nia Fats is the. For those of you that don't know who he's referring to, Nia Jax is who hasn't appeared in a uh, month and a half. What do you think of Nia Fats, huh, Rusev? We just smashed that too. When I first saw her, I thought she was sister. <laughs> You have a sister? Clearly, <laughs> I do. There must be some kinky action going on that thing. Right? Yeah. But anyhow, so um. All right. Don't you dare insult my so, mother. it's not I that I didn't face. like this because I thought what they did you do, made you somewhat sense. But I just what they did made sense. I want to be crushed. But I, be crushed. I just didn't like it because it's Nia Jax. She can't wrestle. Um. What did I miss? Can we not make fun no. of Scott Steiner's eye, you know, problems? Uh, you hit everything. So now, it's Seamus... Uh, well, how do you get to the finish? Cesaro versus Shining Stars. But how do you get to finish, though? Of course, so For the women's match. We already know who wins. So should I even say it? No. Nia Jax wins. I'll just say, I didn't mind who winning. I just don't like it because I don't like Nia Jax. But it made, it it made, it, it made sense. And the Rusev does yeah. once they hit that big tubby. Basically um, the same opinion I have. So, so Cesaro. What did you think of that match? Cause terrible. Uh, Cesaro and she and Shimus. Shimus. Shimus for the for, versus the Shining Stars. The, the, the Shining Stars. The, the Shining Stars. Little bit. I don't know who's weapon is it. Shimus against uh, Los Matadores. Which is the Shining Stars? They used to be Los Matadores. Diego and Fernando, the uh, the uh, Puerto Rican Mexican bullfighters. What do you think about that? Huh? Mexican, well, Puerto Rican, it's either Puerto Rican or Mexican. I just, I destroy them, like I destroy everybody else. What about, Lana? Lana? What about Seamus? You like Seamus, right? Do you destroy Lana? He kicked my face, so no. What about uh, Cesaro? You can live. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, this was a squash. We, oh, I, I wouldn't say it's a, it wasn't a squash, I guess, but classified, yes. Delicious squash. <laughs> but it's, good, it's good for you. Build strong bone. Yeah. Like, it wasn't really a squad. Like, you your bones are brittle. Because the shining yeah, stars. It wasn't a squad, so the shining stars did get some offense, and it wasn't like a complete squad. They suck, but anyways. What? But Cesaro and Seamus win when Seamus makes an uh, epico tap out to the. Uh, We're going to break the character. Epico. Yeah. With the. Uh, what's it called again? The. Uh, the shooting star press. No. Get a shooting star. Shooting star. <laughs> the Texas Clover League is what you're thinking. Yeah, the, cool the shooting is. star press. Get it because I it's a shining star. One of these times, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do an imitation of SNL Soul and Jeffrey, except we all gotta be wrestlers. Oh, that'd be fun. Like a holiday episode or whatever. Rusev. Who would it be? I don't know who I can. I don't know who I can. Well, do, easy. Rusev, Scott Steiner. Okay. I'll I'll do like I'll, I'll, try, do I'll go looking for the chain man. I don't know who I can be. I got the John Cena theory again. Who can I be? I mean, John Cena or uh, Roman Reigns, right? Limited, uh, limited talking you abilities. Be, uh, Someone uh, kick your KO ass and hell on itself. Yeah, you can be KO and then James will be Mad Jax. But James isn't <laughs> <laughs> Or I be... I don't know who this James fella is, but he sounds fat. But anyhow, so... Uh, uh, we missed you, yeah, buddy. Cesaro and James. Cesaro and James. I am talking right now. Uh, so, they, they win with the Cloverleaf. I could... 
Everyone was talking at once, okay? I couldn't think. Couldn't think? We yeah. are just at the ending of the show. So, not yet. The golden, the golden truth go to a hunt. That was pretty funny, oh, but yeah, fuck. okay, so we move on from that. Uh, Jared K.O. No, I forgot, I forgot the New Day segment before that. New Day? Oh, when, no. they were, when, they, when they were Charles Wright, otherwise known as Papa Shango, the Godfather, and Kamen, Kamen the Fighting Machine. Yeah. Uh, anyways, okay, so we move on from that. They, they announced, though, that they're going to be the captains of Team Law and trash the tag teams of SmackDown, except for American Alpha, because they said they don't, they don't have anything bad to say about it. They don't so, Jared K.O., backstage. You know what happened. You know what happened. No, I don't, because I missed the show. Oh. Oh. Then how did you, how do you know about, did you watch, you said you were watching it Tuesday. I was. I forget. <laughs> but, uh, um, Chris Jericho talks about how, uh, he's going to be a better United States champion than Roman Reigns. Yeah, I remember this. And right he's going to turn, and if he wins it, in. if he wins it, he's going to turn it into the Canadian championship. And then he, then Kevin Owens comes in, and they say, you know, that we could be the greatest champions. Yeah. And went on, so it's basically gloating. Yeah. And then, so now the main event. The main event. Chris Jericho with his best friend Kevin Owens, where it says the guy who beat that piece of shit over there, Roman Reigns, for the United States Championship. He got lucky. <laughs> Three times. Hey, I am a real American. You can fight for what? what? I am a true American hero. <laughs> That fights for the rights of every man. What the? What are you? I, I am a real American. What are you, Hulk Hogan now? What the fuck is Hulk Hogan? <laughs> oh, he means Iron Man number three. He's a, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a, he's a, he's a fan of um, oh, yeah, the big guy, the blonde hair. I'm a big fan. But anyhow, so this match, right back. this was a, this was a good match, not a great fuck. match. Did I get that in? Yeah. Yeah. This was Money. a good match, not a great Thought match. Uh, the Sweet. ones that watched it with yeah. Jericho rolled up. Uh, Actually, I think we're behind the trash can. Roman <laughs> Reigns, but Roman Reigns didn't know he was supposed to roll himself up, so Jericho had to push him so that way he See, would. that's why Roman is weak. He don't know how to do it. Hey, Bruce had no stock and he not even the match. And then uh, Roman Reigns is about to win the match with a spear, but then uh, Kevin Owens comes in, attacks Roman Reigns, so Roman Reigns win, wins via disqualification. That's and then, cool. uh, I never think that thing You have before, Rusev. Yeah, it's bull. But then, uh, because other men were idiots. So then, uh, Rusev, do you like your fans? I enjoy my people in Bulgaria. So then, how about your American fans? So then Owens throw, oh, picks, the lack lifts thereof. up Jericho, not Jericho. Thereof, I Owens lifts my up Reigns and he's going to do the pump of pop on, but he feeds him right to Chris Jericho into a code breaker. And then afterwards, Seth Rollins comes out, makes the save, and is about to pedigree Chris Jericho, but Owens saves him. And this was a great moment because. One of, I, I kind of wasn't expecting to see Seth Rollins just because of the fact that he wasn't at the show all night, so I didn't think he was going to be there. And then, uh, and then they, they stood in the ring and they and they, they looked at each other. And they guessed. And Rollins there was a and huge, Rollins and Rollins. yeah, Rollins and Reigns is a huge ovation for the both of them, and a, and a massive, massive shield chant. Yeah. And they just, you know, it was a, it was a great ending. And I liked it too because it's not they weren't giving each other a look like they were best friends they, 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 you could definitely feel like there was still some tension between there's them there's still some tension but it's starting to subside because yeah. that's like the third time that he saved them so obviously too I think next week Rollins will be announced to be on the team either that or he'll face uh, Zolf Diggler but anyways so let's talk Dick about Diggler. that so overall thoughts on Raw Dick Diggler overall thoughts on Raw it was probably one of the best holiday shows Okay. that's not saying much but it's like for a holiday show, yeah. Compared to uh, like the the past holiday shows, it was probably one one of the better ones. I'd, I'd say it was. Uh, Sam got killed. I'd say it was. <laughs> Sam got killed by Face Del Rio, but he. I'd say uh, I, no, <laughs> that makes sense. This isn't the trash show. I'd say it was a five out of ten show. It was. It was all the other all the other like holiday shows are pitifully bad. Yeah. But this one was probably one of the better ones. And we can't give them too much polish because no, no one. I know nobody here was but me probably was watching Raw because yeah. you were at a party. I don't know. Oh, you were watching? Good. Like, I could have watched the last like I mean, hour of it, but well, I didn't. Yeah. And then John, I think, was what? Well, wait, John's not here because it's Rusev. Rusev, was, uh, Rusev wasn't the watching. The fuck is John? Yeah. Rusev, <laughs> Rusev wasn't watching. I watched it was garbage. Well, you were, you, you missed half the show because you were laid out by Goldberg. Exactly, that's why it's garbage. No, what happens, what happens if you laid out? What happens if you laid out Goldberg? Would it still be garbage? If I laid out Goldberg, I feel better about myself. Rusev, what if you laid out yourself? Would that do anything, or would that just be weird? That would just be me masturbating. 
So forget about so forget about Dundee. Dundee. Let's give Steve a chance. Let's let him read the notes. Let's Dundee. give Steve. A chance. Dundee. Yeah, put your fucking video game away. Let's, Let's give. All right, well now I now now I have to get up. I'm gonna go away right here. Oh, I have to get up now. I gotta go. Okay. All right, Steve, read the notes. <coughs> I got the notes. <coughs> Uh, Whoa! You got, you got possessed by Musa. Who the fuck is this? Right. Would it be bad? It would have been better if you actually left camera mm. and came back. Right, yeah. But that's the switch right on. But <laughs> so we have the pre-show. I don't think anyone really wants to talk about the pre-show. <laughs> Nothing happened. Exactly. Actually, Jared you know the kid Lola made a funny joke. I'm gonna be about James Ellsworth. How he's so ugly that he called the Suicide Prevention Squad and they didn't put him through. <laughs> <laughs> I told them. <laughs> I shot him in face. <laughs> Whoa! It's very, what, the, what the fuck happened to John? Okay, okay. I can cross you. I can cross everybody. Okay, so. So, yeah, the show happens. You got your usual commentators. It happened. James Ellsworth comes up for a promo. What happened in the promo, Steve? What did he talk about? I didn't know there was going to be a test. <laughs> so a test. Give me notes. I if Rusev have the notes, Rusev wants to read them. Right, I want to read notes. Let's let Rusev read the notes. You can have a chance next week. Right. No, no. You, you, you can have your chance uh, next week. Rusev has his chance. Dumb and tentative. JBL. Respect. Well, over Nando. Go fuck himself. <laughs> Otunga. Some lawyer guy. <laughs> Ellsworth with the promo. What, what happened, happened in this promo? What happened in the promo? Oh, you didn't see it? The no. I didn't see it either. You don't watch Smackdown. You seem to be fucking unconscious from Goldberg. I don't watch Smackdown. Because you can be boinking the wife. And plus it's you and why. why? You don't like Smackdown. No likes for, no likes Smackdown. Oh, what do, you, what do you think about the fact you're possibly not going to be on Team Wah for Survivor Series? It's good for Smackdown. Okay. I if I was on Team Raw, you know what i do? You crush crush everybody. <laughs> I destroy everybody, <laughs> take their wives, and I have my way. <laughs> Alright, but anyhow, so... What happened to Milana dominate D.U. instead? So the James Ellsworth promo, he pretty much comes out and continuously apologizes to Dean Ambrose for the fact that he cost him a chance at, to become number one contender to the championship. And Ambrose keeps saying, dude, it's okay, it's okay, I'm over it. But he does say, if you would get in my way again, we're going to have a problem. So Ellsworth keeps apologizing. AJ Styles come out. I kind of miss AJ Styles because my TV was being yeah shit. So it was the usual AJ shit. And then AJ St- and, and you ain't want Styles that. and Ambrose go to fight, but James Ellsworth is trying to break, to break them up. Dude, Styles pushes Ellsworth into Ambrose, tosses him out of the ring, Ellsworth out of the win, and then he hits the phenomenal forearm on uh, Ambrose and lays him out. I almost said for the win, but he, he didn't. It wasn't the match. Yeah. Did you enjoy that, Rusev? It's dead at paper. Why, because it's SmackDown? Did not expect American to be smart enough to know realize my symbolism behind that. Whoa. Well, I, I guess I can't keep, I was trying to keep that and save it for Elo, now I can't. It's just a whole through Ellsworth name. I thought you were in love with James Ellsworth. I hate Ellsworth. I thought you loved James Ellsworth. He wanted to be like your son or something. I and then so I know someone think of your segment. I thought so. I know someone Chris Styles really loves that was Styles. WWE. That was Styles was the highlight of the opening. Yeah, it's not it wasn't a good segment. Right. Brian Danielson comes up for a backstage segment. if you guys don't know it's Daniel Bryan. Who the fuck wouldn't know that? So some people I do have some non wrestling fans that Americans. watch my show for some reason. Americans. But anyhow, so he comes up and Ellsworth and Ambrose are fighting. They're trying to make this whole thing that uh, James Ellsworth is bad luck to Dean Ambrose. And Dean, he tells Dean Ambrose that he has one more chance to get a, to face AJ Styles to get a championship match against him. And if he loses, without it, there's no excuses this time. This is his last chance at the title. Well, yeah, he no, number one and Ambrose leaves. And Daniel Bryan tells James Ellsworth he's to stay back here and watch the match. He's not allowed inside. Remember that, because that's going to become important later on in the show. Remember, remember kids. Remember. All right, what was the next thing? Do you remember? Randy Wyatt versus Kane. Wait, it's Randy Wyatt versus Kane. That's what his name is now. You don't know? No, they saw it. No, because you're no stupid American. That's what you know. <laughs> uh, you're stupid. <laughs> They didn't. They caught him Randy Orton the whole show. 
His name is Randy Wyatt now. You know why? How would you know? You wouldn't even watch the show! You wouldn't know why I know this? Why? Because I'm supposed to be friends with them, that's why. Okay. I have the what okay. kind of match was it? It was on the notes, you gotta read that part too. It was a no school vacation match. Yes. So it was a short match. I'm gonna pull up my notes. Why, you don't like my notes? No, it's just my notes have more information because I steal them offline. You, you ignorant American. You steal offline, you perfect. <laughs> but anyhow, so, um. Fuck boy. They fought. <laughs> oh! Rusev calling the shots there. Ooh, Rusev. I am not a fuckboy, but you know who is. You Chris Dodd's boy. favorite WWE personnel, Tom Phillips. Ooh. I don't know who this Phillips guy is. I think he's probably seen him. <laughs> You've done Q&As with him before, remember? He's that guy backstage that does all the Q&As. He's that Q&A. guy you did the thing you're not supposed to tell Lana about. Ooh. Ooh. Scandal. Wow. We have to see about that. I crush him like I crush him. But anyhow, we gotta get to the talking about this. Randy Orton. Randy Orton is my favorite wrestler. Randy Orton? Randy is your favorite wrestler? I didn't like. Randall Kyle. I didn't like. Why? His poetry sickly was smooth. Oh, I mean, damn. Did he rape you as a child? Just like he raped Michael Cole? Bruises are red. Oh, that's a blue. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> But anyhow, let's, let's, let's get to this Randy Orton Kane match. So Randy Orton Kane it's fights. Time up, Bill. It's and so uh, the Wyatts come out during the match. They try to beat up Kane, but uh, it doesn't work at first. Kane's able to fight him off, but then eventually Kane goes to choke him. Wyatt. You know why Kane was able to fight him off? Because Kane is amazing. Randy Orton hits uh, a Randy Orton hits an RKO. Gets see, yeah. if Kane's so amazing. Randy Orton hits an RKO. Gets the victory. Well, why didn't Kane win if he's so amazing? Because Orton's also amazing at being a douche. And then afterwards, Luke Harper hits a discus clothesline on Kane. The douche bags. That's what they are. The douche and bags. Douche Luke Harper yeah. goes to hit. You want to know what I think is going to happen? Harper Kane. Well, or it is Kane's brother is going to be in town in a few weeks. And I'm not sure if he's going to be very happy about what the lights are Oh, I'm not happy about it now. Maybe it should be a six man tag. Me, the no. brother of destruction, versus the Wyatts. It's going to be... What about that, huh? Me and the Brothers of Destruction. To quote John Lauren Ice, That sounds like a terrible idea! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I don't Come have on. to do it's a whole It's fun, I hated John anyway. But they loved him because he's a heel. No. There's no such thing as heels in business. What are you talking about? He was a shitty person. What you talking about? about us. He was a shitty person in real life, so that's why I didn't like him. <laughs> oh, but anyhow, afterwards, Luke Harper off, is going to offer Kane as like a sacrifice to get hit, hit with the sister Abigail, but Randy Orton pushes him instead. And um, Bray Wyatt hits the sister Abigail, and afterwards, they all pose together. So this is kind of the show that Randy Orton is it, fully with the Wyatt family. It looks like there will be the, the Colkster that's coming back. Chris? There is a there is a legit legit speculation that the Colkster could be coming back before his home, Chris. You know the red, white, and blue. Come scratching that heads inside. Oh, you mean Shadow Man number two? Could be coming back before WrestleMania. What would that? So what did you think of Randy Orton versus Kane? Terrible. This whole Wyatt family. Terrible. Steve. I'm kind of siding with Chris on this one. It was it was bad. Pretty bad. It gets worse later on too. Burning Corbin video package. Terrible. It was fine. It's Baron Corbin. I have no issue with it. Carmella Crush. Alexa Bliss Crush. Nikki Bella. No limits. Becky Lynch. <laughs> crush. So what he's trying to say was a tag team match. It was, it was a tag team match. Carmella and Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Bella and Becky Lynch. Chris covered the match to finish everything. I have no fucking clue what happened with the match. Oh. DDT finish match. By who? Alexa Bliss, Alexa on, Bliss Becky on Becky Lynch. Because next week they're having the smack. If you know what I mean, man. Yeah? If you know what I mean, yeah. Because no, next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because next week they're going to have a smack. Because
No, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> I'm not, I let to show you my mom wants me hanging out anymore. I go, me, me, hanging out me anymore. You Bruce up now? I didn't hear then what he said. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. No wait, I, I didn't get, I didn't Shane cover McMahon. the promo with Alexa Bliss and Carmella. Shane McMahon. Talk about to being two whores and then yeah. Okay, so move on. Okay, that's good enough. Daniel Bryan, Jay's Shane McMahon backstage. So Natalia comes up. Oh, uh, crazy terrible. And asks if, and because Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon, are, oh, I forgot to mention they announced the SmackDown Women Survivor Series, so it was. Uh, Everyone should know what the, what the themes are. We have to go uh, over them. Okay. Are we at the women's match yet? Uh, we, just, we, we, we just passed it. Okay. okay. You may be paying attention. And let's play video games. <laughs> so. Hey, 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 hey. Who Crash! Rusev, you crushed that. I'm gonna be real mad. Get that on camera, dude. How mad would you be? I'd be so mad that I'd beat up Owen. Ha ha ha! Who's that the one that's gonna flush it? Rusev! Right he's watching, he's looking at porn. Oh, Jeff. What the hell is on your damn Game Boy? Game Girl? Are you a Game Girl Advance. No, you're playing with a joystick. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. what was the next thing we were going to cover? The next thing we were going to cover was the crazy pussy lady. Uh, well, Chris kind of went over it. And Here's Daddy. Natalia's the coach. Natalia's the coach. All right, I'm the going coach. to describe Natalia's whole gimmick without saying a word, just uttering a noise. Yeah! That's literally her every week. It's a clothesline. Yeah, I'm Natalia. <laughs> I'm bad. I am cats. My husband has neck issues. Yeah! Yeah! Bearded squad versus two dumb Americans. So, does anyone have any objections to that uh, invitation? Not at all. Of course, it's dumb so Americans. What are you talking about? So, this was the Survivor Series tag team qualifying match. Uh, and American Alpha won um, and got the victory. But they, the, the crowd did not care about them and they didn't care nope. about American Alpha. Boring match. So, now it's that. The match itself wasn't the, bad. The Miz with Maurice Crush. This was great. With Daniel Bryan. So this was a this, this was basically the Miz TV segment, which boiled down to uh, Dolph Ziggler coming out and saying that he will challenge anyone to an open challenge. Well, yes. first, and then Hawkins got the and, the, and then that's that's where it ties in. This is rip off. Whoa, when? Okay. It ties in. Whoa, when? Okay. Whoa, when. And then Eric Rowan. It ties in. And then so he if that boils down to him opening. Issue an open challenge open for uh, tonight, and out comes Cock Hawkins, and he gets super kicked in one second. Which I, I'm pissed about because he built up this guy's debut for two months, and, and then he. I find it funny. And then uh -huh. he uh, announces that Survivor Series is going to challenge anyone from Raw to a match for his Intercontinental Championship. Champion. Which I think it could be either be Sami Zayn, you Rusev, I think you're going to come out and accept the Intercontinental Championship. Don't touch me. <laughs> touch Rusev, lose! I watched watch Rusev get a little upset. You know, because he's a little testy after the fact that Roman Reigns kicked his ass on Sunday. <laughs> he's a little testy right now. But yeah, so I think it's either going to be Sami Zayn, like this guy right here. Cold. Um, yeah. He doesn't have any. Oh. Neville, well, I thought I just had is the Miz who gets waited to walk and accept the job. That'd be weird. But anyways, okay. Next. Dean Ambrose backstage. Uh, James Ellsworth comes up and asks if he can be ringside for his match tonight. And Dean Ambrose is like... Dean said no. Yeah. When they own the corporate brewery, Wyatt. So, talk about it, Chris. What was it? Oh, the, the promo? The backstage promo they did? The uh, I thought it sucked. And uh, it's unnecessary. He did the eye flickery thing and then it was, okay. It was dumb. It's pretty much the eye flickery thing. It was dumb. Okay. This pretty much gives me, the, I know it's, just let me know pretty much that Randy was just scamming him. Yeah. Uh, Rusev agrees to the table. Look at him. He's fucking bobbing us up and down like a fucking, Headbangers. like a fucking just like someone, though. Just like someone we know, Chris. <laughs> Headbangers versus. Some, someone also agrees with the fact that it should be that Bray Wyatt's having a false sense of security. I mean, the guy in the corner over there, John Tuddy. 
I swear to God, if you go to the false sense of security storyline, I'm going to get pissed. Good point there, my friend. <laughs> it is a false sense of security storyline, though. That's the idea. That's why it blows. Who said it? Don't bother. Ed Bangers and versus the Uso. Chris, talk about it. Uh, again, for the second time, uh, the generic theme song pisses me off. And uh, they got squash. I heard, I heard a rumor though that John, it doesn't piss John off. I heard a rumor. I know. It doesn't. They're just a team that's supposed to put over their talent. I don't know what Bruce is doing over there. He keeps like covering his face up. <laughs> he sneezes, you asshole. He's <laughs> on nomming. Uh, but, but yeah. So the Usos won as it's, uh, it's obvious. So um, they, they, they just need one more tag team. They have one more yeah. qualifying match next week, which is going to either go to Vaud Villains, because they're the only teams that have not a qualifying match. Hi, Bruce. They already qualified. They already qualified. They already qualified. Hey, Bruce. Oh, I even forgot to mention they announced the Survivor Series team for the male athletes. I forgot to go the over male that. athletes? You know what they say about the hype bros? They don't get hype. They you know what they stay hyped. They, well, they're already hyped as it I is. I get more chicks than them. So the, I need to <laughs> so I need to announce the SmackDown Survivor Series team for these things. I forgot to talk about We didn't about do it anyway. So you guys go to WWE.com. And do it that and No, yes. screw, screw this show. Go there. Whoa, so, don't say that, John. What the fuck Who is the John? Oh. The guy over there? The fuck is John? What the hell are you doing? You're throwing me on the bus, someone. I meant to say Rusev. Oh, damn it, you can never get the name for it. Oh, anyhow, so... You call uh, me Kofi Kingston, for God's sakes. Kofi Kingston. Kingston? 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 What's the next, what's the next thing? It's Maybe. just uh, an interview. Um, it's pretty much like the... What, the... the Land. Anyways, but now the main event of the evening. Wait, wait. Dean Ambrose and James Ellsworth backstage. So he made able to fix James Ellsworth out of the building. He does. That's funny. So now that leads up to the main event, which is AJ Styles versus Dean Ambrose. Well, the winner becomes Ambrose wins. He becomes the number one contender. Great match. He wins with uh, Ellsworth costing Styles a match. I thought it was a great match. Smiles like a fucking pedophile. Yeah. I thought, it was, a, I, thought, I thought it was a great match between uh, Ambrose and Styles, but not the best match yeah. yet. It's probably the worst. It's kind of like he made up for his mistakes. Yeah. If you and now they're gonna have a TLC match, which Rusev has never been in. Um, Rusev also loses at Hell in a Cell. Because I'm smart. But but smart to lose at Hell in a Cell also too. Losing, lose your chance at the United States Championship. But then anyway, may I point out this little thing? How Ambrose is a bitch. So you got to answer on the point he that he lost at Hell in a Cell. He did not win. Shut up. Yes. He did not yeah. win. <laughs> what happened? Your shoulders got pinned to the mat and he won. He taped me to the mat. He taped me. He put that magnet underneath the ring. I have metal plates. Oh, that, that's blaming that's blaming on an erroneous circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, guys, you could be right, you know. Roman sucks. Ooh. Was that Rusev going to talk some shit? You know, maybe he does suck, but uh, he's the champion right now, so I would uh, have to beg to differ. You, you just admitted that he sucks. Like, he I, said may, I said maybe he does. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's better than Rusev because he's an United States champion. I crush him. He got lucky. He didn't crush. He beat me three times, dude. <laughs> he beat me twice. Three right. times. Twice. I'm guessing both. I think it's been more than twice. Twice. <laughs> not. twice, and I didn't know what he got lucky both times. He caught me on a bad day. He didn't catch you on a good day. <laughs> Talking smack. That's a good day, yes it is. Talking but anyhow, smack. so also they announced there's going to be a TLC man between Ambrose and Styles, which I can't wait for. It's going to be great. Uh, what do you think of SmackDown? Uh, sucked. Yeah, I did. 3 out of 10. Yeah, awful. Did I agree? 3 out of 10? Bruce, what do you give it? Oh, wait, you don't give it anything. Just suck. <laughs> Steve, what do you give SmackDown? 3 out of 10, just like uh, you guys. I got to agree with that. So not a good week for yeah. WWE this week. It sucked. Oh, oh John! What's up? How you doing there, pal? I'm doing fine. We miss you, because Rusev kind of sucked. But yeah, so, uh... Rusev curse you. I guess that's it. Rusev um, curse everyone. Um, this was definitely one of our... Well, thanks to our special guest, Rusev, because he was terrible and we never want him back on the show. Rusev will be on Jeopardy next week. <laughs> <laughs> will he really? Oh, we're, doing, we're doing wrestling Jeopardy, aren't we? Yeah, we'll do wrestling, Jeffrey. But anyhow, so uh, anyways, it's you know. Oh, I gotta plug the uh, football reporters show. 
Please! Will Rusev be on it? No, Rusev's not allowed. his band. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Make sure to check out the uh, CM Brothers channel. Uh, also, too, I make a special request so people fucking see the links put at the top. So okay. it's not hidden with your with your channels. <laughs> All right. It's always I, I, I had to search for it the last time. So people see it and go, oh, football reporters. Maybe I'll go fucking watch it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, make sure to check out the CM Brothers YouTube channel or on the Talkinator. Um, You've watched 65 channels. And this channel, make, Steve, make sure to check out Steve's channel. He has like two videos on there. Yeah, I know. They're weird videos. What's the name of the channel? I Suck Dick? <laughs> no. They won't allow that. It's I Suck Dick 27. <laughs> <laughs> well, John's don't, back. Don't insult the number Plug 27. Plug you on the channel before Moosev gets back. Uh, please watch John's It's Please, he's being forced. To be, believe me, he'll kick, he'll kick John out of that chair. <laughs> but does Moosev have anything to plug? I endorse the channel. <laughs> Alright, well that's pretty much it guys. Yeah. Bye! Bye.